I'm sorry I gave you such a start, sir. Yeah, and I um, couldn't get the car started, you know. Not, not, not for ages. And... Say no more. Yeah. Well, you, you, you'd, um, you'd better sit down then, uh, Martin. Oh, thank you so very much. Here we are, then. How very nice. Just what I wanted. Hot milk and sugar on the tray. Can I...? No, no. This is precisely my requirement. Uh, Did you bring a cloth, dear? Oh, I'm all at sixes and sevens. Oh, let me... Uh, stay where you are, please. But I'm sure Mrs. I'll get Bates... it. I'll get it. Thank you, dear. Oh, please allow me. Oh. Beautiful coffee. Oh, good. Well, it's not instant. <laughs> the colour alone indicates that. Couldn't... Couldn't find the damn thing anywhere. On the draining board, dear. Well, I, uh, hope this stuff doesn't stain. I got most of it up, I think. That'll do, thank you, dear. Only I can't stand stains. How absolutely right you are, sir. Neither can I. Or dirt of any description. Did you know Patty very well, Mr. Um, Martin? I... Yes, well, I'll just take this thing back to the place where it's supposed to be. Or is that a painful question? I thought the world of her, madam. So I think I deserve another cup now. But you sort of lost touch with her, did you? <laughs> I've been in the United States of America. Oh, I see. So you... No, I didn't know about. Uh, when was it you, uh, you got back, then? Two days, sir. Mm. You said that you recognised me when you bumped into me in the street. That is correct, sir. Superb flavour, this coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you mind telling me when it was we last met and where? Do you mean to say you only pretended to remember me, sir? <laughs> I don't know why you're questioning Martin like this, Tom. <laughs> Well, Patty isn't exactly in a position to say whether she knows the young man or not, is she, dear? I don't know what you're talking about, really, Tom. You... She knows I am here. She knows. I think she does, too. Don't be ridiculous. She's only a vegetable. <laughs> we don't know enough about the human mind. None of us knows what goes on inside the head, do we? Or the heart, Mrs. Bates. We have to face reality. We have to see things as they are. I mean, do you think I want to? I never did find the driver, you know. Oh. Hit and run, you see. He should be hung up on a steel rope. Two years ago, last Tuesday fortnight. Yeah. <laughs> all I hope is that whoever did it dies full of cancer, screaming his head off. <laughs> well, it was kind of you to bring my wallet back to me, but uh, if you want to get back into town at anything like a reasonable hour, perhaps you'd better... Uh... Yes, of course. But you haven't finished your coffee. Oh, but I have almost, and deeply appreciated it was, I can assure you. Oh. Anything wrong? Uh, no, it's, it, it's, it's nothing at all. But you did faint, did you say? I mean... Well, I suppose I'd better be wending my way. Oh, well, if you're sure you're not feeling ill or anything... Did Patty never mention me to you, Mrs. Bates? No. Oh. Well, she had so many, so very many friends from school, the art college and the tennis club and the dramatic society. It's just... It's just that I wasn't one of her many friends. Oh, dear. Well, we don't remember every single name she talked about. She knew so many people. She was such a lively, friendly girl. But we, she and I... But it doesn't seem to matter very much one way or the other now, does it? You and Patricia were... What? I can't say with total confidence exactly what I was to her. She cannot speak for herself, so I must be scrupulously honest in this house. But as for what I felt... Go on. I thought she was the most exquisite being in the world and yes she will always be for me the girl the songs sing about the girl with eyes like fallen stars that look up to their place in the heavens oh patricia you are never absent from my sweetest dreams you can't know what you're saying. Perhaps he does, Tom. Mm. Will you let me stay with her? But that's mm. not possible. How do you mean, Martin? I mean stay. For a while. For Patricia and for you. 
it's not really... I mean, it's not particularly convenient at the moment. Mm. So. The plain truth is, I once dared to ask Patricia to be my bride. Yeah. Oh, and, and she... Yeah, yeah. Turned me down. Not altogether surprised. Tom, how very oh. rude. To be more accurate, sir, she asked me to wait for three years till my prospects had improved and she had had time to put her thoughts in order. Yeah. She never told yeah. us anything about all this. Isn't that surprising? To me, yes, it is. But, but she was fond of you, was she, Martin? She said so, <laughs> and I believe so. I loved her. I always will. Gawk! <laughs> but you never wrote while you were in America. We agreed not to communicate until the period of separation and consideration was finished. And now that you've seen her and you've seen how terrible the... Now that I've seen her, Mrs. Bates, I know at last a certain... a certain peace. Peace? Peace. <laughs> The quietitude that falls upon a soul when it meets and recognizes ordained destiny. I know now that my love has not been in vain. I know that I can serve Patty. I know that my devotion need never again be entirely barren. Sit down, Marty. Thank you, madam. Now, let's get things in order, shall we? I think that would be very sensible. These uh, romantic declarations, you know, about uh, love and uh, destiny, I mean, <laughs> they don't necessarily signify... Well, how do you mean precisely, stay? What do you hope to do? Help. Look, old son, me don't know anything at all about you, not the slightest thing. But we do, Tom. I mean, you could be a pickpocket or uh, the devil himself, for all we know. What precisely are you hinting at, sir? Not hinting at anything. Only I can assure you that I have absolutely no motive in this beyond the natural desire to help. All I'm saying is... But I'm some sort of fiend or demon or something? Of course not. I'm sure you're a very nice young man, Martin. Tell me, do you have a nurse or anything to see to Patty? Oh, I wish we did. It's not necessary. So you wash her? And dress her and feed her, Mrs. Bates. Oh, and lift her and clean up her... Yes, I do it. I do all of it. I lend a hand, too, of course. Well, you're out at work and... This is a private matter, dear. It will kill you, Mrs. Bates. Now, look... In the end, it will kill you. You'll be worn down. Look, Patricia's not so much trouble as an outsider might suppose. And I presume you go shopping? No, I have to have everything delivered. A lot of frozen food and so on. Oh, Amy. Oh, I wish I could go shopping. I wish I could go anywhere. But we, we can't leave Patty, you see. And Tom won't let me. I mean, we had to go all through this. And what about holidays, then? <laughs> holidays? Well, I, I, I did get a, a colour telly, actually. I mean, largely for Amy. I see. A colour television. I mean, it's difficult for an outsider to understand. Do you watch songs of praise, Mrs. Bates? My husband is a little bit, well, reclusive, but he's very kind. Yes, I'm sure he is, of course. But I have to admit, I'm practically at the end of my tether. <laughs> we live in the shadows, Mr. Taylor, and we can see no light. Then let me stay. For tonight, do you mean? A few days. Oh, yes. But, I mean, where will he sleep, dear? Oh, well, there's a bed already made up. Oh, it's always not. made up. Oh, Tom, Maybe. Patricia's old room. Oh. oh, Mrs. Bates. I can't tell you what that would mean to me. Patricia's old room. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You see, she knows, Tom. Of course she does. Of course she does. But, I mean, uh, what about your, what about your things? What? Oh, my things. Where are you living at the moment, Martin? In a hotel. Very dreary hotel. But I mean, your, your things. Oh, I can scrape along without them for one night. Don't you fret about me. If you have a spare toothbrush or anything. Oh, I'm sure we can find you something, Martin. Right then. Well, I'll just clear up these few oh, there's things. there's no need for that. I can soon no, do it. No, no, no. You stay where you are, Mumsy. What did you say? Uh, Mumsy. Yeah. That's what I thought you said. Well, that's how I think of you now, Mrs. Bates. I hope you don't mind. The kitchen is no doubt through here. Yes. <laughs> it's almost as if she's trying to tell us she's pleased. Might as well say that she's trying to warn us. Well, don't be so silly, Tom. Warn us about what, for heaven's sake? <laughs> Yes, face.